हे एवरी वन दिस इज श्वेता वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम अ डॉट मंडला आर्टिस्ट फोर ईयर्स ए गो आई हैड स्टार्टेड दिस आर्ट माई पेंटिंग्स लुक लाइक दिस विच आई हैव मेड यूजिंग द बेसिक सप्लाईज विच आई हैव फाउंड एट माई होम आई वॉज सो कीन टू लर्न दिस आर्ट वैन आई हैव सीन ऑनलाइन दिस आर्ट फॉर्म आई हैव ट्राइड एवरीथिंग what would be used to make this art and now my paintings after 4 years look like this isn't these are perfect this is a hard work and a patience that makes them beautiful and some tips and tricks which are to be used to make this art so in this video tutorial i am going to uh, teach you all and give you all the tips and tricks tricks which can be used to make this art and if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such videos so let's get started so starting with the basic supplies we need a scale a protector an eraser a compass and a white charcoal marking pencil uh, these are required to make the guidelines for this art this art can not be made without the guidelines so we have to make the guidelines on the base for making the guidelines i usually cut the piece of paper with the same size of my project uh, it will be easy to mark the center like this by using this So let's talk about the tools now. If you are new to the art, don't buy the main tools for the dottings. Use instead the basic supplies which you can find out at the home like brush, toothpick, pencils, nails, even your lipstick pack. You can use anything with the flat side for making this art. I also had done this and uh try to learn this art uh, these are the paintings which i have made using the basic supplies when i was uh when i was learning this art and now after when i was uh, able to do this art i bought some of the dotting tools online like these are the pin pointing dotting tools which usually use for the nail art uh these are used to dot upon the nails and uh, these you can find out online easily uh the metal one are not available online but the wooden one are available uh, both serve the same purpose so you don't have to worry about it the wooden one also do the same work and the metal one also do the same work this i have used to make the pin pointed dots which i am showing here these are made using this nail stylus and uh, see how beautiful the dots looks these are made using this nail styling dotting tools next are these acrylic rod dotting tools these are available online very easily you can buy them from amazon or you can buy them from local stationery too uh, these are named as a dotting tools these have a very beautiful flat end and are of different sizes so you can make a different dots of different sizes before these acrylic rods i have bought these crochet hooks of different sizes these also had uh, flat ends so these can also be used as a dotting tools uh, these are little cheaper than the acrylic rod dotting tool that is why i have first tried these tools and uh, believe me these are more accurate in size than the acrylic rod dotting tools 
these are of 12 in number and we can make 12 different sizes so now so now let's talk about what base can be used to make these paintings earlier when i had started learning this art i have used this canvas board for my mandala paintings as these are cheaper and easily available in the nearby stationeries but later on i found that they are not uh, good enough for this painting as uh, dots doesn't look good on this base after that i had used this cardstock paper these are little thick paper uh, the paper used for the paintings above 200 gsm you can use that the color pops on this really well and they are flat in surface and i have made some youtube video tutorials on this paper look the paintings look so good on this later on when i had uh, uh, started professionally so i moved to this mdf board this is medium density fiber wood i've used this for my paintings these have a very smooth texture so these are perfect for the dot painting see this painting i have made on an tf board and the dots look so perfect on this so if you are uh, uh, thinking of doing it professionally then you can go for this mdf board this is the best base for this art see the dots are so clear and pops up very well so this is the right choice so move to the next part about the paints many uh, followers ask this question which color can be used to make this painting and i must say the acrylics are the best paints which can be used to make this dot mandala art as these are water based paints so you can use water to thick or thin this or you can use medium to thick or thin the paint uh, these are perfect for dot painting you can use fabric uh, fabric colors also these are also near to acrylics you can use acrylic pouring paints having a perfect consistency for the dotting art or moving further i will tell you the right consistency for the paints for the dotting art what would be the right consistency flash acrylics are also good for this these are the brands actually the paint is only acrylic you can use any brand acrylic paint they come in tubes they come in bottles they come in uh, and anything you know but they are perfect these are the multi surface paints of folk art which i have used for my mugs and for ceramics actually these are multi surface so it can be used on any surface and can be uh, fixed by in the oven or uh, you can by heat these paints also come in small tubes uh, these are can also be used to make dots uh, this can directly be used from the tube only so this uh, is also a good choice for dot painting so let's talk about how to paint the base of actually i use sometimes i use the spray acrylic paints or sometimes i use direct acrylic paint and paint it with a brush on a surface both methods are good uh, but uh, but ever is feasible for you you can use that now comes to the main part of dotting tubes the paint consistency yes the paint consistency is the main part of the dotting tube dotting uh, these are some of the medium which i use to thin or thick my paint these are heavy gel medium or medium of different brands this is of little birdie comes in a bot uh, in a jar like and it is like a gel you can see that clearly this is like a gel uh, i also use uh, liquitex heavy gloss medium to thick my paints and uh, i sometimes i also use this is also in a creamy structure texture and this perfectly thick the paint if your paint is really very thin I sometimes use this puffy paint for make my dots really puffed up so I use this Camel brand puffy medium. 
so in the video I'm going to demonstrate how to use these gels for uh, making the right consistency so I usually use this palette these are good palette actually uh, dot painting is a very laborious painting and took very uh, really much time so uh, you have to keep your paint uh, you have to protect your paint from drying so this kind of jar is very really very uh, important for dot painting see I have uh, take I have took the pouring uh, liquid uh, sorry this is little birdie pouring uh, paint I have directly poured it into the jar uh, into the palette and see this is in a right consistency for the dot painting the paint itself goes down when I pick it with the dotting tool see how it goes back this is the right consistency this look like a, you can say a yogurt or a dosa batter
so mostly the acrylic paints of fevigryl are very thin we have to uh, add the thickening medium for uh, thicken it out for the dot painting so see i have took a white acrylic paint of fevigryl and now i'm adding here a liquidix medium i'm going to add a liquidix liquidix heavy gel medium here to make it thick I mistakenly added little more of this uh, liquid X medium. You will uh, require a loop full of this medium to thicken up this much of paint. see now the consistency of the this paint is perfect for dot painting the paint goes back on its own so like this you can add mediums to your paint uh, to uh, for the perfect dot painting the consistency is a key factor in a dot painting so you must uh, work on it to uh, for the perfect dots so sometimes my follower asks why my dots are not raised and why my dots are so uh, irregular or, or not perfect so consistency is a factor uh, behind this you have to work on the consistency and the, your dots also will be perfect Now comes to the puffy medium. I just added a little drop of this puffy medium to this white uh, paint whose consistency just I had created. So I just mix this puffy paint with a dotting tool and now I'm going to uh, uh, drop it over the base. See how beautiful raised dot it makes. Yeah, I took the paint and placed the dot over the base. See the difference between the previous dot and this dot. This puffy paint, puffy medium is perfect for the puffy dots. So that's all about the paint consistency. You can use this type of palette for preserving your uh, paint from drying out. Uh, you can take a break between your painting also. Now comes to the final step, the sealing part. After making your painting, you must have to protect it from Mm, the dust from drying it out or fading it out so you must have to uh, seal it with, it with something that is very important so there are some options these are uh, first option is mod board this is easily available online and this is a good option for sealing your art this is in a creamy structure and uh, texture and you can use directly it with the brush and spread a layer over the painting and let it dry for 24 to 48 hours second option is this aquadur pu 
this is used for uh, varnishing your doors of your home this can be used on wooden paintings so this is uh, also a very good option i'm currently using this and uh, uh, found it very helpful this comes in a big quantity so uh, this is a perfect for the dot painting other than this you can use resin and you can use other varnishes also so that is all about the tips and tricks for the dot, this dot mandala painting these are my tips and tricks which i have used to make this art perfect and beautiful so uh, all the links for the material is given in the description of the video please check that and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit a bell icon for more such videos your shares your likes and your love will help to grow my channel fast and also motivate me to make more such videos for you all thank you so much and love you all